Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and it's nice to be with you today. I'm working on a Christmas quilt, a red and green quilt, and there are two more block designs that I'm going to add to my quilt. So today we have Dutchman's Puzzle, and I'll be making two of this block, and then next week there'll be one more, and I'm only making one of next week's block just because there's an odd number and I had to cut one out. So um, today we're gonna make this block. It's a little bit different than the other ones. So the other ones have a lot of half square triangles and today, no half square triangles. Let's get started. To make our block today, I chose a green and a red and I will be cutting four, three, inch by five and a half inch pieces from each color. So from the green, I cut a three inch strip and then I will cut that strip into five and a half inch segments and I need four for my Dutchman's Puzzle block. After getting my red and green pieces cut, I need 16 background squares that are three inches. And then we will be making what's called a flying geese unit out of our green and our red pieces here. There are a few different ways to make a flying geese unit and today I am using squares and those rectangles. We'll get a pretty exact unit using this method. There is some leftover triangles that I'm hoping in the future I can show you uh, another project. So I'm going to save the leftovers after I make my units here and um, make something fun out of that. So first thing to do is to draw a line diagonal line through all of those three inch squares. After drawing the line, I will lay that square onto one of my rec rectangles there and just use that line as my sewing line and also all the way across. I'll fold it out open, make sure that I'm covering that triangle and then I'm going to trim those excess triangles away and I'm going to save them. I'm gonna keep them right together and make a nice little pile for another project. going to do the same thing with another square, making sure that it is oriented the right way. I'll sew along the line, open it up, and make sure that it is covering that area, and I'm good to go. So I'm going to do this eight times. I'm going to have eight units when I am done.
After pressing everything, I'm going to lay all of my pieces out on my sewing table. I'm going to start with a red on the bottom and a green on the top pointing up and I'm going to join them and this is going to make one quarter of my quilt block. When I have the four pieces of my block, I'm going to orient them just like this. It's kind of like a pinwheel. And then I'll put the two top ones together, the two bottoms, and then I'll join them. This is block number six of this little Christmas quilt along that I'm working on. It's super pretty and we learned how to make a flying geese block today. Uh, we have one more block to go and then we'll put them all together and make a quilt, hopefully by Christmas, but no worries. This is just such a pretty red and green quilt. It can be enjoyed all year long. So thanks for sewing with me today and I will see you next time.